Hi, and welcome to the second video in a series covering the topic of biblical polygamy. Uh, in this video, we're going to cover what polygamy isn't so that you'll have any misconceptions going into the study. Uh, to start off, we're going to start with polygamy is not the criminal practice of bigamy. Bigamy is the criminal and sinful offense where one person marries another person, whether male or female, without their spouse having full knowledge and acceptance of the additional marriage. Bigamy destroys the trust in relationships and families, and bigamy is a form of adultery. Polygamy, on the other hand, is the complete opposite of bigamy. Polygamy is also not the sinful practice of polyamory. Polyamory refers to all forms of multi-partner sexual relationships involving several men and women, which is consensual. This practice is more commonly known as swinging. This type of sexual activity involves sexual relations with both married and unmarried couples, and is clearly sinful as defined by biblical scripture. Polyamory is also a form of adultery. Polygamy is also not the adulterous practice of a woman having more than one husband. Scripture clearly and directly prohibits this type of marriage. In Romans 7.3, the Bible says, So then, if, while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from that law, so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. And 1 Corinthians 7.39 states, The wife is bound by the law as long as her husband liveth. But if her husband be dead, she is at liberty to be married to whom she will, only in the Lord. Polygamy is also not the practice of homosexuality or bisexuality. Scripture clearly states that homosexuality is a detestable practice, and in the Old Testament, people were actually killed for it. Leviticus, Leviticus 18.22 Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. Leviticus 20.13 If a man also lie with mankind as he lie with a woman, he, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Even New Testament scripture describes how homosexuality is not the way that things should be naturally done. Romans 1.26-27 For this cause God gave them up into vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which is meat. Homosexuality is in no way in line with biblical scripture, and therefore has no place in any kind of biblical marriage, whether it be monogamy or polygamy. Polygamy is also not about the marrying of those that are underage. Uh, we've seen many countless stories on the different news networks about the different Mormon cults that are marrying underage girls. This is definitely not biblical practice or the way it should be done. There's a certain age limit where people are mature enough to be in a marriage and we have to find that as being 18. Now if they have parental consent they can be married younger than that but only their parents will know if they are ready for marriage younger than 18. So again, just to restate, biblical polygamy is not about underage marriage. Polygamy is also not just a Mormon or Islamic practice. Uh, this is something really new to most people. Uh, most people really don't understand that it's actually a Christian thing too. Um, not to get into a religious discussion about other religions, but um, most people know it as a Mormon or religious practice, Mormon or Islamic practice. But what you need to realize, and hopefully what you will realize through this study, is that polygamy is also a Christian practice and an acceptable form of marriage according to the Bible and God's Word. And finally, polygamy is not the practice of marrying more than one woman for personal wants. As with all things in life, it is best that we follow our Heavenly Father's will. Polygamy is no exception. Taking wives for personal desires, or just because someone says you should, is not the way to approach polygamy. You must seek out and follow God's will. When Jesus taught us how to pray, he made it clear that we should pray for God's will. Matthew 6.10 states, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. If Jesus was here to do God's will, then shouldn't we be also? If you desire more than one woman, or someone tells you that you should have more than one woman, then fast and pray on it, and seek God's will over it. He will give you the answer. 1 John 5, 14-15 
And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. Polygamy is a biblical form of marriage, just like monogamy includes several advantages, advantages and disadvantages, which we will discuss in a later video. Many of the men of God and the patriarchs of our faith were married to more than one woman. Although these men made mistakes, polygamy was not one of them. In the next video, we will cover several of these patriarchs and men of God, and also some different scriptures pertaining to how polygamy should be carried out. I hope that you will tune in to our following videos so that you may learn more about polygamy, and hopefully that you can get an understanding that is not something that was just done in the old days, in the Old Testament, and was later banned by God's Word. Because there's nowhere in the Bible that can, prohibits polygamy or plural marriage. Uh, again, if you have any questions about this subject or you want some more information about the subject, uh, please just go to the website www.christianpolygony.net. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Take care and God bless.